Hello guys, and today I'm here to show you how to landscape in Minecraft. So obviously I've laid out a little bit of the thing here. Of obviously this is quite small. And this is a four, kind of a four. So it's obviously one, two, three, four, five. And obviously this would be on the outside. So it's, so it's kind of a five by five square with stuff ranging in between, like that. Okay, so obviously this is what it looks like. Um, Obviously then, this is obviously the basis for what you can actually do to landscape. Obviously for purposes I've actually done it on a super flat world, so obviously then you can see. Okay, so obviously what you want to do is obviously mark the point, the original point of the land, because you might get confused, just to make sure that you actually are counting accurately, okay? So obviously you want to go out as many as you want, but I'm going to go out three, so one, two, three, one, two, three. And obviously what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave out the corners and those will be dealt with later. One, two, three. So let me just quickly go around and do these and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I have completely mapped out what I want to do. So okay. So you want to do is you want to go one, two, three for the corners and then go like this. Like this, like that, boom, 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 and then do this for the other sides as well. So go out three, and then I will be right back after I have done that. Okay, so I'm back and I have filled in all the corners. Okay, so now what you can do, so see if you was to get another block, so if I'll get cobblestone, so I can actually mark this out. So just mark that out. Like that. See around here. Okay. So see on this barrier here, I'm going to go like this and then I'm going to build up to and then so obviously it's just gonna go on the outline like this and then after I've done that I'll be right back. Okay, so I've done that now and obviously as you can see it's obviously looks nice. Um, because obviously it's different, obviously you've got these random points that stick out around, obviously it's not all the same around all sides, okay so what you want to do is obviously go out three so you go, just climb up like that, so it's one two three, mark the point so obviously I'll mark this point, obviously it will get progressively wider as you go so obviously this one which was five will now be you know bigger and then okay let's go yep and then obviously I'll fill in all of these and then I'll be right back okay so welcome back so obviously I filled in all the sides obviously now it's time for the corners because now as you can see obviously it's starting to change in things so obviously it's going like this obviously now it's like this here but now it's changed to this here so see now as you can see it's, this is kind of a technique where obviously it will change as each layer goes back so obviously it's like this and obviously it changed from that so obviously it's shifted one so obviously it kind of, all of the thing kind of shifts one back okay so obviously let me just fill in this and okay, so let me just fill in the rest of these and then I'll be right back okay so I finished terraforming this so as you can see if I So as you can see, it's all random as you go around. Obviously this bit here, obviously there's some bits that obviously won't look 100%, so obviously you can just change them. So see places like here, we can just go like that. And then obviously it just changes it up a little bit. Because obviously then it makes it look a bit more realistic. Obviously then, the further out you go, it'll be, you know, the further out you go, the easier it will become, obviously, because then you'll have to 
what I'd say is obviously you have to mark out the points here. Obviously, if you don't mark out the points, you'll be going, oh, uh, did I did it go here? Or it's best to mark out the point like I've done here. And then, so if obviously if I remove these, like so. Obviously now, when it comes back, obviously let me just finish doing this. Obviously, as you can see now, obviously when these are replaced by it, the grass grows over, obviously now it looks nice and fluid. Obviously, if you want to do this on a large scale, obviously you just have to make the distance. Obviously this is, so this would be the main point, and then obviously it depends how far you want to go out. So obviously you want to go 30, you'd go, th so put main block down there. And then go 29 blocks out that way, out that way, that way, and that way, and then just do the technique that I did there. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much how you would terraform. Just a nice little, you know, just like a, you know, like on the flat planes in Minecraft. Obviously, like that. Obviously, you've got the random bits and stuff like that. So obviously, you've got the dip. So obviously, you've got this. Obviously, then if you wanted to do anything in the middle, obviously you could do stuff like that. You know, it's random in the middle. Obviously, then we've got a nice feel for the. Uh, so obviously, then this is obviously great for adventure maps and stuff like that. Then obviously, all you can do is just, uh, you know, you can even create an adventure map which has all hills and stuff on a flat world like this. Okay. So obviously, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.